everyone, I'm Olivia from Bold August Design Studio, and here's a quick Canva tip. You may have seen that Canva this week unveiled Magic Studio, and while my own opinions I'm going to reserve here, uh, feel free to comment if you'd like for me to do an overview. There is one feature in particular that I am immediately going to be using, and that is going to be the Magic Expand. I'm so excited. You're going to get a little bonus Squarespace tip here today uh, because I have a problem and this Magic Expand is going to give me a solution. The problem I'm having, not really a problem, is that I love, love, love this header image of myself. Um, I have a designer on staff, shout out to my designer, Claire, um, who helped me out with this page. It's a speaking page where I have done speaking gigs, what my specialties are in speaking, and then if you're interested in having me uh, speak for your podcast. Um, really exciting. This header, while absolutely stunning, doesn't feel like that professional high level look to me. So the Squarespace tip I'm going to give you first, let's make me smaller. Uh, yay. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh, first, the Squarespace tip is that I'm going to click edit and then hover over the section and I'm going to do a little heart here for save section because what this would work really well for is my about page. So I'm going to come over to my about page. Right now I have this really like, uh, like kind of crazy. It's a little bit too bold for me. I liked it at first, but I think it's just a little too much. I'm going to click add section. And then what that heart did was that it um, added it here. Yay. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to pause this and move that copy over. Okay, done. So now my about page has this playful image of me, flowers, sky, really love it. I'm going to click save, but that leaves me with a hole on my speaking page. And what I really want is to be able to use um, a professional photo of myself, which I consider to not be me in a royal blue romper that is basically shorts. Always, always, here's another tip. Always remember to ask your photographer to get horizontal photos as well as vertical. This is my latest photo shoot. I adore my photographer, but unfortunately it's all done vertically, which means I don't have enough uh, space to create a horizontal look here. So what I'm going to do is use this new Canva tool. So the one that I really want is definitely... Well, the problem is that I can't really use this photo because it's Atlanta and if I expand it, but let's try it out. Come on, Olivia, get to get to the point here. So what I'm going to do is make this larger and I'm going to come over to edit photo and look, here's the new Magic Studio for photos. I'm going to click Magic Expand. I'm a little nervous about what this is going to do. Uh, whole page, click Magic Expand. Uh, and then, of course, while we wait, we hydrate. Now, this does take a moment. Um, it is generating <laughs> and it's going to give me a couple options. So, okay, here are all of the options. Option number one gave me this sort of garbledy brush right here. Uh, option two is better. You can still sort of see where like the landscape's not quite right. This one definitely no, it's adding more to the city skyline. Oh gosh, this one definitely no. I think this is great. Um, it's learning and, you know, despite my qualms of AI, I think this is a pretty interesting uh, feature of AI. I'm going to click done for this one and do something that's a little bit better, which is going to be to grab probably some flowers or myself with probably this one, actually, because white brick is going to be a little bit easier to expand <laughs> than... Uh, uh, an Atlanta skyline. So I'm going to click on here again, edit photo, and let's see what happens with magic expand whole page, magic expand. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Okay. I'm cackling. Um, oh my God. That was terrifying. Um, I'm going to screenshot this for a TikTok because this is legitimately terrifying and this is why AI is not quite there for us right now. We'll click on this one, which this is what I wanted. Oh my gosh. Let's see the other options. So this one created this like vintage situation. It looks like there's another version of me right here. Okie dokie. Wow. There's lessons being learned here today. Uh... 
holy cow, this one, this one is the one that scares me the most. Uh, but I like the tree on the other side of it, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, okay, <laughs> we're gonna do this version right here and click on done and hope that the other version of myself doesn't come attack me in my sleep. Let's do a couple of things to get this to a place that we want it to be. So first of all, I liked that greenery. So we're going to do like green tree right here. And then I'm going to click on photos. And then I'm going to try to find like some branches that I think work well for that. This one does that exactly. So I'm just going to kind of tuck this guy over here in the corner to give that appearance that there's the greenery on the other side of this. Um, additionally, a couple of other tips for you guys. Um, Magic Expand is cool, but it's obviously not quite there, and I'm not even sure that it was quite the uh, one that I wanted even. Uh, the image that I do like for speaking, note to self, next time take a couple more profesh photos. Um, I sort of like this like boss pose that I've got going on right here. Yeah, that's kind of a cool pose. We're going to go back to background remover. We're going to curse that I have curly hair because I think it looks ridiculous. So we're not going to use that photo whatsoever. Instead, uh, just for the point, let's just make the point, Olivia. I can't use that one because I'm leaning on a beam. Just make the point, just make the point. Uh, we're going to use this one. Um, I'm going to background remove this one better. And then I'm going to come over to um, photos again, and I'm going to type in white brick because we can make our own. You don't have to wait for a background remover to be better. I'm going to find some white brick that's not egregious. This one looks great. Um, let's just add myself on top of it. And so now we've got an issue where these bricks are a little bit too big. So let's add some smaller ones so that this doesn't look as uh, fake. I think it still looks fake, but it's fine. Um, so this is looking a little bit better. And then what you can do is save this and upload this here. And then you'll have your space for text uh, on top. So this is space for text over here on the left. Space for text is so important. Of course, make sure that your text is accessible. Uh, it needs to be high contrast. So I wouldn't want to use like brick brick, which I will show you in a minute. My font is more it. Uh, so if, if let's say I used brick brick, let's come back over here. And of course the video, let's just do brick, right? Um, brick. This is not going to be accessible. That's obviously you can't read that. And I think that the white text would also be hard to read as well. It's just not going to be as accessible as the white brick. What you could do is type in gradient. I do this trick a lot. Go back over to graphics choose this one and then make both of these black. This one has internal, you don't want it to be purple. Um, this one has transparency built into it. And then you can do an overlay kind of like this, take the transparency down, that works. I hate the bricks here. So let's do instead, go back to elements and maybe shrubbery. Maybe some like a, like a, like a shrubbery. Yeah, no, that's a little too zoomed in, isn't it? Uh, maybe something like this. I don't know. Now it just looks like, uh, that's not quite what I wanted either. You guys get the gist though. Here we go. That one could be kind of pretty. Yeah. So you can see it. The, 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 this one's still my favorite. Um, and then this works pretty well as well. Cause now I, I am actually in this image and I've got just a little bit of greenery and text would work really well right here. Oh, I don't know what I was doing in that photo. Good heavens. So that's how to use the magic expand. And of course, the more of us that use it, the better it's going to be. I will comment if you're still here that I do appreciate that the new magic studio does have something called um, magic shield, I believe. Where was that? Where they, yep, they um, have some AI safety. So they, they are saying that they do have um, privacy and security tools. Uh, and it doesn't train AI using your content without your permission. Um, so the privacy does require you to opt in or opt out. So we're hoping, I hope that that means that Canva is attempting to be more ethical with its magic, uh, magic studio. So that is magic expand. Uh, let's try it one more time. If you're still here, why not? Uh, for another couple of headshots of mine, like, let's just see what it does with angles, right? So, um, here's a photo of me on this bench. Like, would it expand? 
the whole bench. Um, so edit photo, magic expand. Looks like it does have a couple more options over here as well for your sizes. So maybe I don't necessarily need a whole page. Maybe I just do one one and we'll see what happens there. Maybe it has a little bit less that it has to generate. So it might not be as insane, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. A little wobbly of a bench. It maybe doesn't have perspective down quite yet. This one's not so bad, but you can tell it's been done up. This one at least tries to cap off that bench, and then this one is perhaps the closest. I'm going to see what happens when I report these images. Um, well, it doesn't really... Huh, yeah, it doesn't really give me an easy way to report. Like, that's not what I would want to do. Let's try generating new results to see what happens there. Yeah... These just not, they're just not quite there yet. It's going to be a cool tool. It's going to be a cool tool. I love that I'm doing this video because there's been so many other like TikToks and like people like, look at how cool Magic Expand is. And it's just not really doing it yet. Like this is a real, I'm, I'm not Canva sponsored. This is an actual real, like how this works. So let's try this one. Let's do another um, one one. That feels like it's less strenuous for it. Let's do Magic Expand. Alrighty, I am hitting pause because otherwise this video would be way too long. Oh goodness, it's just not filling out these letters okay. I don't know what it's doing with the gate here. Oh gosh, not quite yet. It's just not quite there. I do think that this works somewhat well for what I'm going for uh, for my professional page. So let's make that happen. I'm gonna walk you guys through how to actually get that on Squarespace. I'm going to click the share button and click download. And then I'm going to do um, PNG, ah, JPEG. I'm trying to do better. JPEGs are gonna be a little bit better for file size. I'm gonna ensure I only select the page I need, which is page two, and then click download. And then don't forget, when you download something, it goes to your computer. So you have to know where that is in your computer. Don't just save it to desktop like I'm doing right now for convenience of this video. Actually try to put it somewhere that you know. I'm gonna go back over to my speaking page over in Canva. And then I'm going to dissect how my designer did this and she did it correctly. So she added an image over here. Um, for this one, I'm going to, uh, I am going to add this as an image behind my text. So that way on mobile, I can stack it exactly how I want to stack it. So desktop, what did I save that as? Space for text, so S. Look at all these screenshots I haven't deleted. Oh no, do as I say, not as I do. That's so bad. Yikes. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take this, wait for it to actually upload. Great. I'm then going to expand it all the way here. I'm going to double click uh, design fill. I don't, oh yeah, it's getting there, great. And then I don't know why it doesn't do this for me sometimes, but there we go. I'm then going to over here on my controls, send it to the back. Uh, and then this still isn't quite accessible. It's still a little bit too dark. So probably I would go back into Canva and ensure that I lightened it up a lot. For now, I'm just gonna expand this. I'm going to drag the image a little bit further down. Great. Alrighty, uh, there we go. Okay, so that looks a little bit more professional. Like I'm, I'm wearing like a nice dress. I've got my computer. I've got this sort of like edgy bunch of flowers, which maybe will be memorable. I can't say this is what I'm going to leave up here, but at least it showed you how to use Magic Expand, what I would do with text and a little bit of extra score space love as well. Uh, that has been your quick Canva tip. Let me know how Magic Expand works for you and if you've had any luck with it. And maybe in a year, it'll be incredible, amazing, and I'll be able to do an updated video with it working flawlessly. All right, guys, see you next time.